Many hardworking, tax-paying Americans would like to know just how many tax cheats are employed by the federal government, like, for example, at the IRS. Well, U.S. Senator Joni Ernst finally got an answer. She inserted language in legislation mandating the, checks, the tax cheat audit of the federal payrolls. And now, apparently, it's completed. The findings are quite stunning. Joining us now with all the details is the CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Andrzejewski. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. So just how many people working for the IRS are tax cheats, and how much money do they owe? Well, it's pretty stunning, Angela. The number is actually 5,800 people getting paychecks from the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, are tax cheaters. This is the tax collection agency. So here's how it breaks down. There's 3,300, 3,300 employees, direct employees of the IRS that are tax cheats. They're behind on their taxes or they don't even file a tax return. And then there's an additional 2,500 employees of contractors. These are firms contracted to do tax collection work by the IRS. They're behind on it. All told, you've got nearly 6,000 employees of the IRS. They owe $50 million to the American taxpayer. And here's the dirty little secret. The IRS could fire these people. It's in the law. If you're a tax cheat working for the tax collection agency, you can get fired. But only 20 of them have been fired. So if they can get fired and this, if that's not happening, what is the IRS doing about these tax cheats? Well, not a lot. I mean, tax evasion is a ser can be a serious crime. You could be hit with... Uh, penalties and fines and even imprisonment. But this audit showed that the time spent on federal bureaucrats not paying their taxes by the IRS is actually minimal. So you got 6,000 of these people. Here's how the numbers break down. You got 5,000 of them that are not even on a payment plan. And, and out of the 6,000, there's $50 million owed to the American taxpayer. There's only about 1,000 of them that have contracted with the IRS to actually pay their back taxes. So there's just not enough being done here. I mean, think about it, Angela. You got these people working for the tax collection agency. They're paid by taxpayers, and they're ripping off the tax collection agency and the American people, the taxpayer, who are paying their salaries. It was well, this just the tip of the iceberg? What, the, what did the audit reveal about some other troubling hires at the IRS? Well, the IRS has real problems on their hiring because this audit revealed that nearly 500 former employees of the IRS were actually hired back after it was discovered they had real problems like uh, fighting and assault charges or sexual uh, conduct problems or, uh, or um, actually um, uh, criminal misconduct. And nearly 300 of them have had repeat offenses and they were still hired back by the IRS. Now, you have advocated for actually auditing the IRS, uh, specifically the IRS uh, gun locker. Many people really don't know that the IRS owns thousands of, of guns, weapons here. You know, what is the status of that audit? Yeah, so it passed the House last year. They never, the Senate never took it up. So the last audit of the IRS gun locker was actually 2019. From 2006 to the present, 2023, our auditors at OpenTheBooks.com have identified the IRS has purchased $36 million worth of guns, ammunition, and military-style equipment. Many people don't realize the IRS actually owns submachine guns, 600 long-barrel rifles, 600 shotguns. They spent $10 million on guns, ammunition, and military-style equipment during the pandemic. We need that audit. And very quickly, this last question, if we can get to the IRS, of course, we talk about tax cheats. What about the entire uh, federal bureaucracy? What are you seeing? Yeah, the t this audit revealed, incredibly, there's 150,000 tax cheats. These are federal bureaucrats employed in the federal agencies that are not paying their taxes. The audit said they owe $1.5 billion. I think the first order of business on a bipartisan basis is to either fire these people or get paid. The American taxpayer deserves no less. All right. The CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Andrzejewski, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Angela.